You big nonce! Well, hello, big nonces. Chainsaw here. Wedding stays. Oh yeah. This week, I've got a bit of a a bit of a game. Sega game, yeah, game. This one, squeak. It's a bit of a play on words, I'm guessing. And um, for the sound that little mice make. Squeak. 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 A bit like that, big nonsense. Now, I'm just having a look at this high scores there. Because I need some competition this week. Well, I don't. But it's always good to have a bit of competition. Right, so level one. There's a lot of um, going on on the interface here, you can see. You've got tiles left, and as you can see, as I go over the tiles, they're turning pink, and they're counting down. So basically, I think you've probably clocked on that I've got to go over as many tiles as possible to the turn pink. Um, you've got a timer there. That's counting down off sleeve. Um, you're going to have to do a quick. And then you've got bonuses on the top right, as you can see, you can pick them up. Um, and what happens is, you get special abilities. You've got a fire button. Um, that's basically the only button on the game I've found so far. Um, I've just played it a little bit this game, I haven't really played it that long though. Just, what's he doing? He's flashing at his big lenses. Oh! I was picked um, something up as you can see on the top left there, big nonsense. That's I had, when I had a quick go before there, I didn't um, I didn't pick anything up. Um, so I don't actually know what that one does. Right, I'm just um, I'm just getting them squares. So it's it's quite a simple game this week, like you see, it's um, on the game gear. It's a, it's a little puzzle-like type game. He looks a bit like a chick um, from Toki Tori. I don't know if Toki Tori got the idea from this game. I don't, I don't think so because it's very different, obviously. Um, I'm just, I'm just wafting me balls all over the place, big noises, hoping to hit the um, bad guys. Right, there we go. I don't know if there's an easy, what the best technique is on this game, to be honest. Um, the covering the areas. That's a teleport, that big nods I've just went on there. And that bit there is a bit of ice, and it just makes you keep going. I'm just um, shooting him. Go down here. Oh, it's getting a bit spooky. Oh, those, um, those enemies look like they're murderers, what you see. Um, and them cultist groups, or what do you call them? Rather than ghosts. Oh, I just fell. How the hell? Look at that big nonsense. I was like, on the edge there. Alright, let's see if I can. I can do this. I haven't got. I've got I think I'm about halfway through. Just collecting as many as possible. So, yeah, it's not really an exciting game, to be honest. Um. But it's one of them games you, you could play on your dinner breaks. Because um, it, is, it is a handheld. I don't really like long games on handhelds, to be honest. Um, I have played I played Zelda on Game Boy, I remember playing that a long time. But I, I generally don't like playing long times on, um, on handhelds. I always um, use them for more of a more of a quick game of something. This is sort of game that will be good for that. It's a little nice little puzzler, and um, you could just spend five minutes on it or so, and then get back to whatever you were doing. And hopefully that's not think, illegal, big nonsense, because I don't condone that. Um, not on a Wednesdays, anyways, other days of the week, fine by me. <laughs> it was big nonsense. So yeah, it's a nice little game. Um, there's not a lot to it, though. Um, there's different, like you see there's different power-ups and that, that, I'll just try and show you a few there, but there's really nothing much to this game. So it's going to be a quick review this week, I'm afraid. 
right as a teleporter. I can get on the teleporter button oh, there. Oh, the other button uses a teleporter. No, it doesn't. Sorry, big nonsense. I thought it did their button for a minute, but it didn't. So you're still stuck with the one button, I'm afraid. So those people who are fans of the two bo button game, it's not one for you. Right, I'm just uh, Basically, you could just hold down the fire button, really, and um, you'll be pretty safe on this game. Unless they're really hard enemies and they give you a good twatting. Oh. So, yeah, it's a simple little game. It's going to be a quick review, I'm afraid. But, to be honest, there's not much really to show um, on this game. I'm going to leave it as that. I'm going to give this game... I'm going to give it... Ooh, 5.5 out of 10. Because it could, I don't know, the, I mean the puzzles might get a bit better later on, but I think the simplicity could could be a bit too simplistic, big noises, um, and it might get a bit dull, and you might end up playing something else um, on the game, on the Sega game, yeah. I'm going to see you next Wednesday.